My name is Ahmed. I am 23 years old and love to visit different places around my country. As I live in Saudi Arabia, I decided to go north, around 600 kilometers away from me. It was about 3 p.m. when I started my journey, and I was still on my way when it was 7. It was the winter season, so it usually got dark fast. I got hungry while I was driving, so I tried to find the nearest gas station. After about 20 minutes, I found one that had dim lights and seemed very old. It had a very creepy vibe to it, but still, I went into the store. While buying some snacks and drinks, I felt like I had to go to the bathroom. I asked the man at the counter if there was any bathrooms nearby, and he told me where to go. I was on my way to the bathroom when I heard... Screaming. What the... Confused, I stood there for a while and then saw a body thrown out of the bathroom, which looked like a bloody mess. That was all I could see from that distance. Then I saw someone walk out of the bathroom. When I hid behind the nearby wall, a man in his mid-thirties dragged the body and took it to a shit-like place. I could tell that he was in a very awful condition, as he had markings all over his face. He had a knife in his pocket, and his clothes were covered in mud and blood, and were all worn out like he never changed them. When he was done dragging the body to the shed, he started to walk towards my car, which was my only escape. I was terrified to approach my car, but luckily, he went away. After making sure that no one was around, I ran to my car. I started my car and stepped on the gas to escape from that place. When I drove far away from that gas station, I found a mosque. I stopped my car close to it, ran inside, and found the Imam who leads the prayers at the mosque. After telling him everything that happened, he gave me a bottle of water to calm myself down and call the police. The police arrived in a few minutes. They questioned me and eventually went to the gas station to investigate. I was still staying at the mosque waiting for them, and the police came back about an hour later. They said that the guy was arrested. It turned out he's been hiding in the place for about seven years and killed the people who entered the bathroom. What's even more horrific is that his parents and his wife were killed in the same bathroom. And after killing those people, he dragged their bodies to a remote place where no one could see. Eventually, he was sent to the prison and was sentenced to death. I could have been killed if I didn't see that body in the bathroom and just went inside. I'm glad that I am fine now, and I am thankful to God for saving my life. One last thing that I want to say is, please, follow your instincts and always make sure you're safe in situations like this.